While 2023 was packed with incredible games, too many of them flew under the radar. But don't worry, I got you, because I'm here to tell you about 8 great indie games you probably missed in 2023. Before we start, let me know in the comments what indie game you think was completely overlooked this year. Alright, let's go. People interested in monster collecting RPGs like Pokemon probably heard about this, but more people should give Xappies a try. To be frank, this is what Pokemon should have been doing in the last years. Xappies offers a very deep combat system that expands on the basic ideas of elemental weaknesses and provides some strategic depth that makes encounters a unique and fun challenge. For example, you could freeze a monster, then use fire attacks on it, which results in a water coat, which then makes the monster weak to lightning. Figuring out this kind of stuff is incredibly satisfying. Also, you can fuse two beasts during combat and create a bunch of unique creatures. That's so cool! On top of that comes an open world that can be explored with a variety of different abilities like gliding, climbing walls and more, which all come from having a beast with the associated ability in your party. Overall, Cassette Beast is a great experience that I would not only recommend to everyone disappointed by the last Pokemon games, but every RPG enthusiast. Gravity Circuit is a flashy, action-packed 2D platformer that almost feels like an addiction to play. Why you ask? That's because movement feels tight and precise. Therefore, rushing through each stage is a thrill and finding secrets is actually satisfying because you're rewarded with stuff you can use to enhance your character's abilities. You need an extra layer of support when jumping? Why not unlock the double jump ability? Or alternate the wall gliding? No problem. That combined with excellent level design make for a quite unique platforming experience. And to top it all off, boss designs are fantastic because their mechanics incorporate some platforming mechanics introduced in the stage. That's brilliant game design. Have you heard of Gravity Circuit or would you give it a try? Let me know in the comments. Crossbliss has to be the most interesting deck building game since Hearthstone. Basically, this is an RPG with rogue climb mechanics. You try to complete one area after another, but if you fail, you need to try again and there are some random elements to it, like which cards you get or which opponents you face. When you're defeated, you don't lose everything though. Experience and money you earn are your chance to improve your character, and I absolutely love it. Since Hades and Rogue Legacy 2, I never had a more satisfying roguelike mechanic, because in Crossblitz, every attempt actually matters and rewards you to further progress and enhance your character. The combat itself is a beautiful mix of simplicity and strategic thinking, since the position of your cards is crucial to win a battle. The cards are well thought out, which just adds to the fun experience. And it's just as fun as hitting that beautiful subscribe button to watch more fun top lists about indie games. I highly recommend you at least check out the demo, you can find a link in the description. Let me know in the comments if Crossblitz is a game you would play. Bzzzt is a fantastically designed precision platformer with beautiful pixel art and an awesome soundtrack. Each stage is a challenge since the game regularly introduces new obstacles and mechanics. Each time after a couple of stages, you unlock a new ability that can change the way the game is played quite a bit. From a fairly standard double jump to shape shifting, this game has a few surprises up its sleeve. And it can get pretty challenging since one hit destroys your robot instantly. But that actually adds a satisfying need to master a stage and learn from every mistake you make. Since movement and your abilities make it very clear what you can do and what not, you always know that the key to successfully finishing a stage is to improve your skill. So the challenge feels satisfying and the stages are always fair. It's hard to put the controller down and not say, come on, just one more stage. That's how good it is. If you tried this game and if not, would you? Let me know in the comments. 8-Bit Adventures 2 basically is a modern JRPG with the looks of a game from the NES. It's definitely amongst the most overlooked RPGs of 2023 and there are so many reasons why you should check this out. 8-Bit Adventures 2 tells an engaging and heartwarming story that doesn't shy away from being very meta and also surprisingly emotional, providing some of the most memorable scenes I played this year. The fantastic writing and charming characters suck you in this vast fantasy world packed with brilliantly designed dungeons that are so much more than the standard corridor dungeons of some other RPGs. And then there is this great straightforward combat system inspired by Final Fantasy X and Dragon Quest that offers a good challenge and requires you to plan ahead your moves. All that combined with some clever modern features like the possibility to save everywhere, no random encounters and so much more, create a fantastic RPG. 
If you're looking for a nostalgic JRPG experience without the frustration of older games, you have to try 8-Bit Adventures 2. Have you tried this game yet or do you want to? Let me know in the comments. If you're looking for one of the most unique experiences of 2023, Cocoon might be what you should play next. Cocoon is a unique take on the puzzle adventure genre, where each world exists within an orb that you can carry on your back. To solve puzzles, you need to hop in and out of these worlds with another world on your back. Yeah, it sounds complicated and some puzzles will test your skills quite a bit, but once you understand how to think, the puzzles are incredibly satisfying to solve. That's also because each world you carry on your back comes with its own ability, like making certain paths available. And because the level design is excellent in every minute of this game and the music creates a fascinating atmosphere, it's hard not to fall in love with Cocoon. Did you play Cocoon and do you agree that this is a must play? Let me know in the comments. I've talked about Lone Fungus a bunch of times already, but I can't emphasize enough how great this game is. Lone Fungus is a metrovania and easily my favorite of 2023, and there are many reasons for that. For one, most of the abilities you get are fun to use and actually provide a good reason for backtracking. And well, backtracking is only fun when the exploration is worth it. Lone Fungus does not disappoint here. There are so many secrets to find, hidden paths to uncover, and optional challenges to overcome that all add to the almost addictive gameplay loop. I could go on and say nice things about Lone Fungus for hours. If you want to know more about it, go watch my review. Link is in the description. But first, let's see what the last entry on this list is. The last game on this list slaps you right in the face by making reality-shifting pictures the premise of the game. You find as a first-person puzzle game with a unique mechanic that pictures you hold in front of you can be placed into the environment to make it a part of it. Puzzles start off simple, but as the game introduces more and more mechanics, like the Polaroid camera and the photocopier, the puzzles crank up in difficulty. But don't be afraid, they're never too hard to solve and therefore an incredibly satisfying experience. You will feel dumb and you will feel very clever at times, for sure, because almost every puzzle has multiple ways to solve them. If you're looking for a relaxing and creative game that just takes things down a notch, play Viewfinder. And please let me know in the comments if you played Viewfinder already. Alright, that's it. 8 great indie games you might have missed in 2023. What indie game you think was completely overlooked this year? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.